Here we go. I figured if they could duct tape the poop smell into their bathroom, they must have a little tape left over. So now we have two. Red Green would be proud. Let's see what's in here. Nope. No, I think I'm good. I'll pass. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Raft where I'm finally ready to leave behind the rafting lifestyle. No, I don't need to live like some kind of ocean hobo on a pile of garbage at sea anymore, because I have my very own personal Bubble City Island. Technically, it's Finder's Keepers, because I've been here for a couple of days and haven't seen anyone else around, other than all of the murder bots roaming the streets, but we'll deal with them eventually. Right now, I think if I want to get to the bottom of what happened to all of the people here, I need to actually get to the top of the city. Is it redundant to say I really don't want to get tased in the nuts by a robot today? Like, I feel like some kind of ooga booga caveman hunting R2-D2. <laughs> that being said, I'm going to try my best to stay low and quiet and avoid any kind of murder bot interaction. They don't even have many interactions. It's really mostly just murder. <laughs> but if I can get through this door and check out these vending machines, then I'll be happy. Yeah, we found a bunch of tokens last time. And I can use them to buy fine art for my raft. Oh, well, isn't that clever? Or houseplants! <laughs> I really like that! We could also get food and water. That'd probably be important in a survival situation. Or we could get a piano. Yeah, you know what? My mind is made up. I really want a vending machine piano. That's what we're gonna save up for. A door is locked from the other side. Of course it is. So how am I supposed to get up there? I should probably mention murder bot is a relative term. You know, like, if you can be fooled by a dumpster, then you're less so a Terminator and more so a Roomba with a knife. Would you please hold still for just one second, you little hyperactive bot? Thank you! Ow! Okay, that always hurts. Actually, some of you guys are pointing out in the comments that it doesn't even seem like they want to really hurt you. Because they're saying, you know, how can I help you? Wait, come back, human, or just hold up a second, that kind of thing. It really seems like they're more so a robo-butler who just doesn't realize that they have a taser taped to their arm. Taser hurts all the same, so I really don't mind putting an arrow in their heads and taking a key card out of it. Right. This is probably going to be very important because I think to get up there, we might need to explore some of these apartment buildings. It looks like we're going to have to zip line over to the second floor and then work our way up from there. I'm well aware that I'm not going to solve the mystery of Waterworld and humanity's disappearance inside a barber shop, but I still kind of wish I could explore it. You know, like, we found a swanky burger joint last episode too, but all these commercial buildings can't be opened by the robo key cards. They only work with the apartment buildings. I've got this one open already, and I think this is the one that I need to go to. It looks like the zip line connects to this. I just need to hope that it brings me up high enough. Where did all the other buttons go? I don't think floor four is gonna cut it. <laughs> I was kind of open for like floor 40. That being said, if there are any mini fridge sized rats in here, be sure to make yourself known now. I'd like to introduce you to my friend Pointy Stick. Well, fortunately, I didn't find any roid raging beavers, but there's definitely no shortage of stuff in here. These apartments are really well stocked, but I'm not seeing anything that could help me out. Maybe out onto the roof? Oh, I don't have a good feeling about this. <laughs> no, and the sun's gone down, so we could do a little hardcore parkour on the outside of an apartment building at night. Wonderful. Well, I managed to make my way up onto the roof, and the good news is I was right. Like, if we can actually get over there, then we can definitely climb up further. And there does seem to be something going on at the top of the city. But the bad news is I think I might be on the wrong building. I could have swore this was the right way to go. But it's never too late for some course corrections. For someone who spent like 120 days at sea level, this sucks. This sucks giant rodent butt. 
I don't like this in the slightest. At least there are a whole bunch of robo butlers down there. They'll be able to clean up the splatter once I land. Or empty my pants. <gasps> We're so close. We gotta be there. Come on, that's what I want. Oh no, why is it why is it all the way over there? <laughs> no! No, this is what I want at all. Who cares about the crate? Oh great! I got a bunch of hinges and glass! Wonderful. Wh Th that's not what I was going for. I was in the right building, but that's the zip line that I need to bring me over there. But how am I supposed to get up there? Where was that broken window? Maybe there are multiple entrances to the same building? I really hope that's not the case. <laughs> or maybe I need to find the elevator buttons or something like that. I'm so confused right now. I just need to figure out how to get off this roof first and then we'll regroup. Here we go. Notice, key card reader out of order. Please use elevator in plantation area. Okay, I can't wait around to hypothesize about this because I knocked down like four robots and they're about to get back up, but I think that's what we need. I'm pretty sure this is the building with all the zip lines and we need to get up through the plantation area. We saw down in the plantation area there was a door that I couldn't get through because I needed to fix the electricity using duct tape, which wasn't down there, but I've been finding duct tape around the city, so if I keep exploring the city and finding more duct tape, then I can go back down there, fix it, and then take the elevator up from the bottom? Hopefully? So we're on the hunt for duct tape. How much duct tape do I have? Uh, I got one piece, and I think we need three. And they're not gonna sell me any burgers, so I guess we're just gonna have to rough it. It seems like every apartment building I need to go in is right next to a commercial building that I can't go in. Like this time we have VR Arcade, which I'm willing to bet was very popular post-apocalypse or people needed an ability to escape. Once you see the entire bubble city, you'd go crazy in here, but I would imagine this would be another area for us. Okay, we've only got one floor again, which means two apartments and hopefully some duct tape. And no rats? Eighth floor, huh? Oh, I really don't want to find any rats. No? I don't know why I expect them to say hello. I'm just kind of, oh great. Yeah, uh, here's a hot tip. They don't usually duct tape nothing into a room. There's a good chance it's uh, maybe just a smelly poop. Oh, don't I look? Foolish. I don't look like anything, apparently. Here we go. I figured if they could duct tape the poop smell into their bathroom, they must have a little tape left over. <laughs> so now we have two. Red Green would be proud. Let's see what's in here. Nope. No, I think I'm good. I'll, I'll pass. We managed to talk things out and he's gonna peacefully take a nap. But do you see what I mean about roid raging beaver? Like you can't really call it a rat once it's the size of a labradoodle and it's built like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Both muscles and teeth. Well, we've got token number six over here, but I think that's about it. Nope, we've got some more tape. I think that might be enough to fix things now. I can't really remember how much we need it. I genuinely don't understand why I'm so nervous to go down here. Like, everything down here should have either been pointy-sticked or drowned by now. It should be the safest part of the city. I think it's just that I've spent so much time on the open ocean that going down into a deep, dark, confined space is really getting on my nerves. Where was the plantation? We're getting close, judging by the seeds and cockroaches. <laughs> and the signage, and all the electric sparking. Okay, so it actually wasn't that far. I thought we were gonna have a bit of a journey ahead of us. Let's try not to encounter any of that, shall we? Yeah, elevator, that's the thing that we need. I'm assuming that's the panel I need to fix? Maybe? I would love to be able to stop all this sparking. Yeah, three tape. Okay. It didn't stop the sparking, but I heard something happen. Hopefully that something was the elevator? You've gotta be kidding me. It wasn't the elevator itself. It was a door to access the elevator. So I might need even more tape to actually get the elevator operational, assuming I actually do need to red-green everything in here. Yeah, 
It doesn't work. Go figure. So what do you want? More tape, I would assume? Is there any tape down here for me? Maybe you don't need tape. Maybe you need something else. Please, ask for anything. You know, palm leaves, rope, little bloods. I, I could give you a whole lot. Nope, tape. Damn it. It just dawned on me I've made two red-green references in this episode, and there's a good chance most of you have no idea what that is. It's like the Canadian version of Home Improvement. It was a TV show in the 90s, and if you don't know what Home Improvement is, then shame on you. Does this look poisonous to you? I'm gonna try eating it anyway and hope that I don't die. No, you know what? We're gonna have to give our compliments to the chef. This great work. <gasps> All right, so what exactly do I need to do now? Just hope to find more tape. What happened to shoe potato? Did one of you eat shoe potato? I welcomed you into my home and you ate my shoe potato, so help me God. <laughs> Well, this little back alley room doesn't look sketchy at all. I don't suppose I can actually use a key card in here. Okay, and we've got an elevator, so we're in business. Should I be checking these lobbies for duct tape? No, obviously people would keep duct tape in their apartments. And we've got two floors and high floors. So I might be able to zip line down to other buildings from this place as well. I didn't take a good look at the outside. Hopefully, these apartments are empty. Considering they're all now mine, I own this entire city, so any freeloaders will be evicted with force. Huh? Who wants some? Oh, not again. Last time, it was technically empty. Oh, oh, I thought this was a broken window. Oh, we could get outside for a second, but nope. Still just taping in the poop smell. I know I harp on about this stuff a lot, but I need to point out how stupid it is that if I want to make a bowl of something, I have to first make the bowl. I have to get dirt, I have to turn it into clay, I have to form the bowl and blast it. Why don't I just take the bowl? There's perfectly good bowls here. It drives me freaking crazy. There's so many bowls around and some of them even have tape, which is exactly what I'm looking for. Okay, well, that's one. We can get two more, then we might be able to punch our ticket. I'll take a token, thank you very much. Surprisingly quiet up here. Don't know how I feel about that. Well, the other apartment was a bust, so hopefully these two will have at least two pieces of tape and one token. Then I'll be able to use the elevator, get my piano, and live happily ever after. <gasps> hopefully, possibly, maybe. Just want to clear these places before I actually take a look around. Make sure there's no one hiding anywhere. No. Okay, we're good. And we've got tape. And a broken window. Ooh. I figured it would be a good idea to check the other apartment before we go up on the roof. Did you guys hear that? That was some loud footsteps. Oh, I didn't even see you there. I was too busy looking at all the plants thinking they used every token they had. I'm not gonna find any in here. <laughs> Hello? Oh. Oh, no, that means that the footsteps are coming from the roof. Ah, crap. Okay, well, I got a, a crate full of stuff that I can't take because my inventory's full. Well, I'm not hearing anything through the window, so maybe it was just the wind? <gasps> Something tells me I'm not gonna be that lucky. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I gotta climb up a bunch of air conditioners? I don't feel good about that at all. <gasps> uh, there's no way. Okay, can I, can I skip? I'm, I'm gonna skip the third one, wonderful. Oh, there you are! Okay, yeah, you know what? Just gonna insta-fire on you. I don't know why I'm using arrows, but it'll work. There we go. Take a seat, Arnold, and you know what? I'm gonna turn you into... Crap, crap. Okay, I lost two arrows, but I got some stakeum, so that's okay. We can get over there, but I want to get over there, and it feels like I'm high up enough. Oh, that's the building. Okay, we're nowhere close. Like, I'm still hoping that I might be able to zip line over to that building and then zip line across, but it just has to be that I use the plantation one. Otherwise, what would all this tape be for? 
Well, I'm seeing a broken window and possible duct tape bounty over there, so how about we zip line across? I'm not afraid of heights, like, to an unnatural degree, but everyone's afraid of heights. Like, evolution has made us afraid of heights. No one wants to fall to their death unless they're stupid. Oh. This is different and incredibly profitable. Oh my god, there's two tape. This is the best day of my life. Excuse me, Becky, is the boss seeing anyone today? I, I know when he duct tapes himself in a room, that's usually a no. You gonna go check for me? Becky? Becky, oh, hello, okay, well, I guess I'm just gonna have to take the initiative. You know, one of my weaknesses is that Pointy Stick and I are very reliant on one another. I'll be sure to let him know in the interview. <gasps> Let's see what we have in the boss's room. Ooh, very fancy, a case of junk that I don't need. Great, that's just great. Ooh, and a cooler of junk I don't need. <laughs> really don't know what to expect at this point. I think that's everything. So as I sit here downing half a dozen cooked beets in an elevator, <laughs> let's see if we can actually get out of here. Perfect. Okay, now fingers crossed that this actually works. You really gotta wonder why it takes three full rolls of duct tape to connect one wire, but I'm not gonna ask questions. It's now reconnected, and hopefully that did something. I didn't even hear anything this time, okay. Really shouldn't be testing my luck. I don't know if the electricity is a one-shot kill. It opened another room. Of course it did, as expected. I, I thought that was gonna be the case, and that's why I would need six and not three. Okay, yep, it doesn't kill you, it just makes your legs go numb. So it's not that much electricity, it's just like a, a little bit of electricity. Ooh, strawberries. Now we fix you, and hopefully that's the elevator? It wouldn't be something back here. Oh, it's the elevator, and we fix the water. Awesome. And we're screwing around with that. This is different. We have a blueprint for an electric purifier. I assume that means an electric water purifier? I could definitely use that over the sunshine I've been working with for the last little while. So, elevator this way? Maybe? Possibly? Come on now. Isn't this just back to the beginning? I feel like I'm getting turned around here. Okay, good. It is really, really easy to get lost in these tunnels, even with all of the signs. Interesting. So we're a negative four. Okay, so if I go to zero, then hopefully I'll be able to open that floor and not have to come back down here. Then we can go up to eight. Does that make any sense? Oh no, I'm not in the tower. No, right. Okay, so I opened up this door and now I can get through here. Could you maybe not, little jackass? I'm getting turned around in my head, but technically I'm right. So now that that door is open, we can come in through there to get back to this elevator if need be. I, I was thinking the tower, but no, we need to get up to the eighth floor. Hopefully we can use this to zip line over to the tower. What was going on in here? You know, I know we're not looking for tape anymore, but this is super different. Look at this. We might have found a real fancy building. They had rooftop bars with piano tokens. So many piano tokens. <gasps> Man, these people were living the life. They had everything going for them. Well, almost everything. Unless it's your birthday. Am I late to the party? I'm really sorry about that. <laughs> I'm the worst city mayor ever. I didn't even wear my mayor hat. My bad. Let's go ahead and prepare a cake using your body. I'll get right on that, don't you worry. Where do we keep the flour and the sugar? I've already got the rat, don't worry about it. Uh, nope, just uh, more cooked beets. Don't know why people were storing so many cooked beets. It was a birthday party though. Oh, they already made a cake. And it's seen better days. Yeah, I think I'm gonna pass on a slice of that cake because we are so close to where we wanna be. Just a little bit more climbing and we'll be able to get there, right? 
It's it's right there. Okay. I was going to say we're still in the wrong building, but that's okay because we can zip line over to the right building. Assuming I don't want anything over there. I don't really care to be honest. I can always come back. I just need to figure out which line is the zip line and oh, oh crap. Oh crap. Oh. I forgot. I almost forgot that I needed to jump, and I didn't realize that I needed to jump at the last possible second. It was pure panic instinct. Ooh. Is that what I'm gonna get? No, this is not what I'm gonna get. Not you, I meant the piano. I want a vending machine piano like this one. Oh no, pointy stick. Oh crap, no. My one friend, you jerk. Other than the mild rodent problem, which I'm sure they had under control, this is a pretty swanky restaurant. Like, there's so many seats and places where people can enjoy their food on multiple levels, but then they can also enjoy the live music, and the chandelier, and all that stuff. We got a bar at the top, and I know it's kind of a skeezy thing to take someone's tip, but at the same time, these pianos aren't going to buy themselves. That's right, I said pianos, <gasps> because I'm willing to bet I can get multiples of them now. Oh, this is what we need. Th this is the one. Right? Yeah! Okay, finally, I made it. Let's see if we can actually get up here and find whatever's going on in the Tangaroa project. It's only been like a week in the making. I've been hanging around this city for way too long. Okay, that's my ankles that are broken. Of course, I can zip line between buildings, but I can't climb up a simple ladder. So we've got three choices zero, one, or two. I want to go down to zero. Because, again, if I can open the door from the back, then I don't need to deal with the workaround anymore. Beautiful. I could technically buy my piano right now, but I'd prefer not to lug it around. Is there anything? Oh, we got another note. I have a lot of notes to read. I will get to them eventually, I promise. I don't know if it's going to be this episode or not, because I really want to take my time and see everything before learning about what happened here. So this was floor one. In here, or two, would have all the answers, I assume? Emergency bridge launch. What do you think that means? I'm not hearing anything inside, which makes me think there are probably no mutant rats, but also no people. Oh, we're outside. I just assumed that this was going to be like a command deck or something, but I've got another floor to go. Please tell me there's an elevator or a ladder or something. There's got to be something here. No, it's busted! <gasps> or not lowered, maybe? I don't know how to get up there. I'm, I'm clearly missing some kind of code. I need an emergency bridge launch code, which is... Probably in my notes. The engine started burning two days into running them at full speed. We checked the wiring and found a whole bunch of dead beetles clogging up the coolant feed. One of the engineers checked the outer engine block and found a boy and his dog there. Thank God he found them when he did. We were just about to seal up the place and leave. We're sealing the thorium reactor and then we're out. We headed for the habitat after the engines gave out. Apparently, there's been a beetle infestation that spread all of the electronics. Tangaroa is a lost cause. All that and a riot on top, after Tully opened fire on the raft people. We found a safe place with enough food to last us a couple of months. Us engineers, the boy and the dog. We're gonna need a boat. Things have gotten quiet since they cut off water to the cockpit. Security teams still go on patrols in their ridiculous golf carts, rounding up any pets they can find. The boat is almost done, but we're missing an engine. The boy thinks we could take one of their engines for the boat. It's crazy, but it just might work. We finally managed to find a working engine in one of the golf carts. The boy helped take it out so we could carry it to the boat. I wish I knew where we were going. The boy keeps asking me, but I'm only hoping we find someplace dry. Let's try again when we find each other. Hanny. We've got a major beetle infestation in the banana plants, like nothing I've ever seen before. I hit them with pesticide, but that didn't even slow them down. Cockpit won't respond to my calls, and the beetles will strip down everything if we don't stop them. All right then, you little monsters, let's see how you like a taste of the vacuum. No, sir, they haven't done anything hostile. They're just chanting. It sounds melee. We can use the water cannons. Yes, sir, I am armed, but if I may speak freely, we have no reason to... No, sir. Yes, sir. 
Tully says shoot to wound. Do you remember last episode how I said I probably don't need to be worried about beetles? Turns out I do, because these people weren't worried about beetles and it completely ruined their city. That and a riot, apparently. I'm guessing that's why all the butlers are heavily armed. And it sounded like the people that came from Caravan Town showed up and got shot. It's not the greatest. And I was right. There is like a lower class. You know, the working people who lived below ground and were keeping everything operational just kind of realized that everything was going to hell and took off. I'm guessing that's why the kind of submarine door was open. But this is probably what we need next. I think this is a code. It looks like Tranquil Street, and then we've got the VR Arcade logo. Exterio Lane, and we've got the Burger Joint. Bizarre Streets, and the Barber Shop. Partisan Roads, and some kind of life preserver. I haven't found that shop yet. But if we can find four numbers, then I can probably punch in the code, and then that'll launch something? I don't really know. I'm, I'm kind of afraid to launch anything, to be perfectly honest, but it's not like I have much of a choice. Oh! I just wanted to see what it looked like from up above. Oh. Oh, that's not good. Is it? Am I okay? Everyone remain calm. I am in complete control. I'm now going to take a shortcut to return to my raft. Because clearly I need to explore the city, find a bunch of numbers, as well as buy my piano and any other decorations I want, and probably upgrade the raft. I get the feeling that's another episode kind of thing, but for now, let's just hope we don't land directly on the raft. I'm pretty sure if I jump into the water, everything should be fine. Oh, we're getting a little steep now. This is debatable. <laughs> At what point do you think I'm going to fall? Oh, okay. No, no, no. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Like I said... Incomplete control. Everything is good. Just scraping my butt down this window. Oh yeah, easy sh shortcut. Don't do it. Don't do it. I don't have pointy stick. Okay. We're fine. Okay, no, I'm so done. You know what? I think that's going to be it for this episode of Wrath guys. I technically finished my objective that I set out today, you know, figure out what happened to the people here. Turns out they either left or rioted and killed themselves, I would imagine. But the, the city is dead. It's technically mine, which means if I want to launch something next episode, I will. And if you guys want to see that, then as always, be sure to leave a like on this video, let me know, and I'll return to buy a vending machine piano soon. But thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.